Hello, everybody. Happy Transformational Tuesday. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, and we have a Love is Blind storyline to get to. Several, actually. Looks like they actually might be filming another episode of the current season four of Love is Blind. Maybe an After the Altar episode. Jackie and Paul both spotted separately in different areas being filmed. So we'll get into that. Also, look at the contestant that Paul reveals he dated. Who, who is this? We'll get into that story storyline, why they didn't show it, um, and uh, we'll have a little bit of your bachelor, excuse me, your love is blind news here. What show are we doing again? I'm having an identity crisis. Follow me on Instagram at dneals for stand-up show updates. I'll be in New York in a couple weeks and other shows that are going on out there. I'd love to see you guys come out to shows and also patreon.com slash Dave Neal for the behind the scenes live stream. I'll be live at 10 a.m. this morning. It's going to be a good one. We'll be editing some videos together. I've got interviews coming up with live Love is Blind alumni. Those will be happening soon, plus dropping some Bachelor alumni interviews and a psychologist who's familiar with Love is Blind is going to talk to us. So lots of content to get to. I will also have bonus content on Bachelor Rush Hour, the afternoon entertainment news podcast every single day. You can listen to that, bachelorrushhour.com. So Paul and Micah might be done, but Paul's mom is not done with Micah. And that's a pretty healthy sign of relationships that one can move on and the, their ex can still be friends with their mom or whatever. Sure. I don't know if it were me, I'd be like, mom, can you unfriend Tammy? Can you unfollow her? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to move on. I don't need you getting afternoon tea and becoming besties with my ex, but either way, if they're happy, I'm happy. There they are. And, uh, Micah said this, the question was, do you still talk to Paul's mom? Y'all were so cute together. She said, we do. She's been an amazing support system for me. Even though we aren't family, we will always be friends. And luckily for her and I, Paul supports that. All right, so there she is. And um, here's Paul filming uh, some scenes here, assuming it's for Love is Blind, unless he's starring in some new student film. A lot of um, uh, comments were there to talk about the mangled Monsera plant. I got to tell you, we have a plant. My wife's a plant mom. And did, you, did, you, did you hear this? That because um, millennials aren't having kids because, you know, you know, vague, uh, you know, gestures vaguely. Uh, the, the the price of the world is so expensive. Uh, a lot of millennials now have plants, uh, and we do too. We these things get giant. Never get a Monsera if you don't have the room for it. Uh, maybe it's just in sunny Southern California. I literally have to like limbo buy this thing when I walk by it. It's so big. Either way, um, here's Jackie. Jacqui. Here's Jackie um, from Netflix's Love is Blind Season 4 filming outside of some random place. And I guess it's in Seattle. And we'll have to see what that's all about. What could possibly be going down? I'd love to know more of Jackie's story. I was um, on the Love to See It podcast the other day, uh, yesterday. It'll come out Thursday. And uh, Emma, and, um, uh, Emma and Claire, nice, nice ladies. And um, we discussed um, the fact that we never got to see the Josh storyline with his ex. Now, we know Jackie is now with Josh. They've been together for a year. Josh got engaged to somebody, and they didn't air that. And we go, why didn't they air that? Like, maybe, maybe Josh came off um, in a different way, in a nice way. I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Everyone's trying the best, right, with the info that they have. Um, so... Why did the show decide not to air these other engagements? And what you know, what what was the reasoning there? Um, in that conversation that we had, there was the curiosity as to why the um, Asian contestants of the show were edited out. Uh, was there? Uh, any bias that was there. We'll never know, but you know, like we said in the podcast, it's worth speculating on to be like, why did, why did uh, this uh, lady who Paul dated, why did her, sh um, her engagement not make it or, and we'll show that. So here's what Paul has to say on E! News. I'm going to have to break this up um, every, you know, 30 seconds or so for copyright reasons. So if, um, if you're a little annoyed by me commenting and responding here, just go watch this uh, on YouTube here in its entirety. It's two and a half minutes long. To Amber after the falling out between you and Micah? We had, I think, just like a um, cordial moment of like, you know, uh, no hard feelings kind of thing and like a acknowledgement of the connection that we had that was real and like 
Yeah, I don't know, but we didn't date or anything. I, like, I hate how bad the audio is um, here. It's like they took the time to sit down in these director chairs. They don't even have like crisp audio. Yeah. Was there anyone else that you would maybe consider dating from your pod's experience? It's okay. Now, no, um, but there was, if you would have asked me this. That's why they put the music behind it, because there's like, you can hear the air conditioner. Whenever we had first gotten out, yes, there was another girl, Wendy, the aerospace engineer, if you remember. All right, so Paul says there was a girl named Wendy, an aerospace engineer. We're going to get to the rest of his convo, but let's catch you guys up on Wendy. Screen Rant, my favorite Pulitzer Prize winning um, uh, blog here, says, what happened to Wendy Kong after Love is Blind season four engagement. Wendy had her time on Love is Blind cut down, though she got engaged and has opened up about her life since filming the Netflix show. Yet now that we know that they're essentially encouraged to get to the altar right there, for you know whether they get to the altar or not, they're fined $50,000 if they want to quit filming. You ever been in an experiment that's going to cost you fifty grand if it doesn't work? And by the way, by, as a side note, by the way, we made our video interviewing Nick Thompson and Jeremy Hartwell, who are alumni from season two. Nick complained that there was no food and water or not enough food food and water given to them during the set, and he lost 15 pounds, and it's, of course, they do these things to, like, mess with your mind, and they treat you like props and not humans, and a lot of people commented, this is BS. They had sinks. Why didn't they just drink out of the sinks? Guys, they're on a film set. They're basically in an Ikea showroom. There's no plumbing there. They're in a giant factory, giant studio, a warehouse. They where they film these things, and they build houses inside of them. If you've ever watched Two and a Half Men or uh, Seinfeld, that's they're not actually in New York City. They're actually in a fake set so this plumbing doesn't work don't flush the toilets um then that, that that's a anyway the, my point being is we forget that this isn't real this reality really is just humans that are put into situations that are not real but we call that reality anyway i had to tell you that because i i my, my I, it blows my mind reading some of the comments of people that defend the show like no they they could have just drank out of the tap water like that's the bare minimum like i don't know maybe get them some i don't almond milk I, you know, wendy is one love is wendy is one love is blind season four contestant who got hardly any screen time it did ai write this though interest in her is rising after she revealed that she actually got engaged on the show the fourth season of the hit netflix dating series chose to take five engaged couples to mexico which led to Wendy and her fiance being cut despite having a proposal in the pods. Wendy hasn't allowed this treatment to slow her down. Wendy's Netflix bio lists her as a 28-year-old aerospace engineer who was looking for love. She wanted to appear on Love is Blind to meet new people and potentially find her life partner. But yeah, Paul's an engineer, right? Is he an engineer? Can two engineers date? Leave a comment. I feel like engineers are a very specific personality type. Like, I feel like an engineer needs to date somebody who's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm going to rile up two engineers that are watching this. All right. So anyway, she um, it didn't work out for her on the show, um, but um, she gave it her best shot. She got engaged to Jimmy Ford, a 28-year-old operations manager. And, of course, they were cut. And also... Do you guys have any have any feedback on this Ava and Josh um, relationship? Apparently, it was a big fight and it ended. I'm just catching up on this. There's been so much news to get to. Um, you know, I just got into Vanderpump Rules. I can only carry you know so much drama in my life. Either way, that's Wendy. Here's what Paul has to say. Um, yeah, I talked to her a lot, and I had an insane connection with her. Like like mirror image like we're like but it's almost too much. Like I like myself, but I don't know if I like myself that much that I want to marry myself. You know, I could never date someone who is as needy and emotionally codependent as me. <laughs> you know what I mean, like we're like really similar. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's the right fit. Uh, at least not at this point. So you guys didn't actually pursue each other as more of, Hey, we're connected, but maybe, or did you full on date? I mean, I don't know. We were never exclusive, but okay. we went on dates. If that makes okay. sense. Yeah. It is. They went on dates, not in an exclusive way, but they went on dates. Yeah. Yes. Has the experience changed how you go out into the world and date currently? Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. So I, I think it clarified for me, like exactly what I'm looking for and like what I can tolerate. He's like, I'm, I can't tolerate Micah. So now I know that when I go into my next relationship, just don't have those qualities. No, I'm kidding. Mike is fine. She's fine. And what is vital in a relationship and what cannot exist in a relationship. So you need admiration. You cannot have any degree of contempt, you know? And for me personally, I need somebody 
that I see my best self reflected in them and I want to be that for them. So that inspiration and motivation to become like your best self and visualize yourself with them in the future together. All of that I learned. I was just like, all of these are very important bits of information. It's the law of attraction, folks. Like attracts like. Negativity breeds negativity. Positivity breeds positivity. If someone's bringing you down, you're bringing them down. You're both just not in the right place to build each other up. And maybe, maybe the show causes that. Uh, like maybe the show puts so much stress onto people like Micah that you see uh, a bad girl side. And it's really just the fact that she's cranky. You know what I mean? Like we, we forget that the show is putting people into their worst conditions. Like a lot of people get a lot of value from the work that they do. So when you strip that away, I would be so annoying if I didn't have all of, like my, my wife knows for me, I got to go do stand up comedy. I got to go on a jog. The pandemic like saved my life by going on, going on runs every day. I'd go on these long runs and it, it's just this energy every day. I have to burn off this energy or else I just become, you know, annoying to other people. I'm, I'm really just like a, like a young, like, a dog where I just need just let me outside to run around I'll throw the ball against the wall you know whatever um but anyway the point being is that um the the right person will will we will rise to the level um uh, of who we can be for the right person for me to have a successful relationship you said on the show that you typically go for the crunchy granola witchy girl yeah. is that still someone you're seeking or now that you have dated outside of that are you more open uh sometimes Sometimes I don't know what's going on with the words that come out of my mouth. I'm just like, what is happening? Um, but it wasn't it wasn't inaccurate, you know. I was, it was pretty accurate. Have you ever <laughs> have you ever had someone describe someone as granola in a good way? You know what I mean? Oh, did you see his jawline? He must eat a lot of granola. <laughs> uh, but I don't know what I was going on with that, but um, no, it, it has expanded. You know, I'm very much open. I don't I don't think that I confine myself to certain types. I don't. I think that you know. Love is blind or something? You know? All right, he said he thinks love is blind. It's not. Okay, I think we proved it's not. By the way, granola, I used to love eating granola. That's. It's not good for you. Granola is not good for you. I mean, I don't know. I don't need some dog. Well, actually, it's whatever. For me, it's, you know, it triggers. Next thing you know, I'm, you know, eating, uh, you know, at Sonic's, you know, one, one cup of granola and I'm off the uh, the old plan. All right. What do you guys think? What do you think of that? Paul and Wendy didn't work out. Is, is it much of a story or did I just clickbait the hell out of you? I don't know the difference at this point, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to be delivering fastballs on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. Give it a shot. Please help me out. I'm trying to grow the channel. If you haven't listened before, I think you might like it. What I tend to do is I'll have a 30-minute episode, and I'll usually make the first 15 minutes brand new material. Like yesterday, we covered all of the entertainment news that we didn't get to on the YouTube channel in the first 15 minutes, and then we you know, shared one featured YouTube content from the day. So a little bit for everybody. All right, folks. Well, I'll be back with more content right after this.